Daybreak wildly popular author and Indiana native John Green is traveling the country to talk about his latest book. Yeah, the book is Turtles All the Way Down. I uh, stopped at home in Indianapolis last night. He actually gave Drew Blair a nice conversation before he took the stage at Pike Performing Arts Center. He did, and we had a lot to talk about because really, and catch up on, it's been six years wow. since he's been in the spotlight in this way. That's when the last book, The Fault in Our Stars, came out. So here we talk about the time in between it and Turtles All the Way Down, why he hopes you and Central Indiana Indiana will be especially interested. Part of that time was lost to uh, starting up uh, some educational video projects with my brother that have uh, grown a lot and taken over a lot of my life in ways that I'm really grateful for. Uh, part of that time was spent on movie stuff and uh, part of it was spent writing books that failed for various reasons. So. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh, I've never had it take this long before, and I hope I never have it take this long again. Highly anticipated by your fans, of course, but I'm sure yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and uh, it's really, it's a huge relief to have the book out in the world and um, to have the critical response to it be so positive. Um, so yeah, I'm just really, mostly, to be honest, relieved. For your hometown readers, what are you hoping they most get out of this book? Well, it's set in Indianapolis, so I hope there's a lot of nice moments where you can say, oh, I recognize that. Um, I hope I'm not too mean to the White River. I love the White River. I kayak on it all the time, but it is a bit polluted. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, there's lots of locations you can recognize from ad the Applebee's at 86th and Ditch to Pogue's Run. Um, but also, uh, I hope they feel like uh, I did a good job of telling uh, a high school story um, in this great city. We're going to see a film from this one. I don't know. Um, it's a very interior book, so it's kind of hard to imagine uh, how to make a movie out of it. Um, and I also, you know, I want to be really careful. I've had two incredibly positive experiences. You know, I, I, I got, I kind of won the author lottery. So many authors have terrible experiences in Hollywood, and I've had some bad ones. But with both The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns movies, it, it was just, everything went right and everyone was so kind and generous and so it would be very hard to say no to the opportunity to work with those people again. Well, he was certainly kind and generous to provide that time last night. And the story within these pages focuses on a 16-year-old girl in Indianapolis who struggles with mental illness while investigating the disappearance of a fugitive billionaire. Oh, wow. So the book is really becoming a platform and outlet for Green to discuss his own experience with mental illness. You can't talk to John Green without having, you know, somebody on a clock saying that's it. We have, that's all the time that yeah. we have. But you did have more time with him. We did plenty more. We talked about so much that I need to bring you that conversation throughout daybreak. So I'm kind of splitting it up for you. I'm going to go back and put it together more for the next hour. And of course, we're going to get it all on wishtv.com if you need to leave the house. But you'll want to hear his powerful message about feeling isolated. And this coming from someone who has a millions following mm -hmm. on yeah, social media yeah. but and this is around the world for him sure. so, but it's a really powerful message and one you'll want to hear in our next hour and day Good. Break. thanks Drew yep okay it is a